In today's video, we are going to be breaking down Norman Powell and some of the ways that he is scoring on offense. Now, Norman Powell this year has been having a killer year. He's been blowing up with the Toronto Raptors. They've been doing okay. He's been doing ridiculously well. Let's get down and let's check out how Norman Powell scores and some of the tips that we can use to allow us to score more points. Okay, so in this first clip, we're having a pass from Fred Van Fleet over to Norman Powell. When Norman Powell gets that ball, he is able to do a quick dribble jab and then attack the rim and finish with a finger roll. Let's really see how he is able to do this. So when he grabs that ball, he does a quick dribble with his right hand, and then he jabs left at the exact same time. This is a move that Norman Powell does a ton, and believe me, if you are in the same situation, you could use this move as well. After he does that jab, he takes another quick one dribble towards the basketball net, and now he takes two large steps, one and two. At that point in time, he is able to get past his defender. It does slightly help that he uses his off arm to be able to push that defender back using his shoulder at the exact same time. This is going to allow him to stretch out and do a finger roll past his defender using that rim, using that, that right side of that rim to his advantage and allows the ball to go in. Okay, so this is a nice inbounds pass over to Norman Powell. Now, this is another move that he uses. It's great footwork, and I really wanted to break this down. So right here, he takes a quick dribble, and then he does a quick hang dribble. What that hang dribble does, he keeps his most of his hand, more than half of his hand, above the bottom half of the ball. As soon as your palm goes underneath that ball, it's a carry. So you have to make sure that your palm, your fingers can go under, but your palm has to stay above the imaginary half line on the basketball. And that way he's able to do a quick right foot push off. So he technically gathers on his right foot, hops to his right foot again, and because he keeps his hand on top of the ball, he hasn't killed his dribble yet. You're allowed one step between your dribbles. And because of that, he's able to take that hop and then he gathers on both feet. This is a fantastic move. This takes a lot of footwork and a lot of practice. Quick hop two foot landing already set for his shot. He gathers that ball right in between right in front of his hips and that is where he does gather that ball to get his shot up into his set point which then obviously this doesn't go in but he was able to get that foul which sends him to the free throw line oh yeah by the way he's a 90 percent free throw shooter in this next clip it's another great example of what he does so he is on the weak side right now there's a screen and roll up top between van fleet and kyle lowry after this screen what happens is we have fred van fleet getting screened by baines fred van fleet's going to be popping over here if he was to be passed to meanwhile norman powell look at how low he is he is looking at kyle lowry and this is a great example of what you can do on offense even if you are in the corner you need to be scanning the court seeing what your defender is doing is he going to go play help defense when kyle lowry drives if he does am i going to set up for a shot or am i going to be cutting baseline for the alley-oop this is gr a great example now he's at this point saying okay I've got a wide open shot. My guy is going in. I'm right now on fire. I am hitting a ton of threes. That bounce pass comes out and he is ready for that shot. Now this is all set up because he knows what's happening. He could have cut back door, but he would have had Middleton coming down on him anyways. And this player here who was originally defending him is not far enough over past the basket for Norman Powell to cut baseline. Because at this point, if this player did pop out a bit farther, Norman Powell could have still came back door and that would have been a nice dunk but instead he notices that he's wide open for the three he's on fire in this game and he's able to drain that three-point shot don't forget to use drag screens as well coming down into your half court offense from here he's able to use that screen from what nabby and from there he's able to go up for his nice set shot but i just really want to show you his footwork really quick right left kick 
knocks that left leg down, gets his body lined up, gets his shooting form ready, and obviously he goes up for a shot. But this is very important, hitting the offense quickly, getting that screen going right left with your shot. He kicks that left foot down so that he can stop his momentum taking him this way and gets him going up into his shot. This was another great move in this game. He goes and does a kick, a quick killer crossover towards Boucher. And because of that, this defender wants to go over top of Boucher like if Norman Powell was going to attack this side and let Boucher roll towards the basket. But he is able to recognize that Boucher's defender is absolutely leaving him wide open on the three, which means that if he was to attack, there would be multiple defenders coming in. And of course, Boucher would not have the ability to roll off because this player is not hedging that far up, which means that there would be no ability to pass to the rolling player. So instead, what Norman Powell does is a quick killer crossover towards that screen, which gets that player to go over top, and then he crosses back towards the other direction. Two dribbles. You only want to keep it under two dribbles if you're within the three-point line and you're attacking. The reason for that is your last dribble should be around that free throw line, and there's a really good reason for this. The reason is, is if you can take your two steps from the free throw line to the basket, this player here, the help defender, is going to be unable to rip that ball from you. And you can get that left hand up and over the defender. You'll be all set for layups all day long. But if you go and dribble, and took, if he took one more dribble right there, this guy would have picked off that dribble and it would have been a turnover. Now, all of these clips came from one single game his 26 point game he had a few weeks ago actually about a month ago at this point in time and he is a great player and just quick disclaimer he is one of my favorite players on the Toronto Raptors and he has been since he was a rookie anyways I hope that you have enjoyed today's video if you have hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time